<coughs> Morning. I am a sick little bitch, honestly. Can't even breathe. I'm out of breath speaking to you right now. I have a flu. Absolute nightmare, girls. But anyway, welcome back to another video. Hope you're all keeping well. Love yous. Literally love yous all. Okay? Sending lots of love. So weird vlogging back in Ireland. Crazy. Um, tomorrow is the wedding day, girls. I don't have anyone to do my makeup. I got my nails booked in and I think I might have my hair sorted. So if the only thing I have to worry about tomorrow is my makeup, be grand. Like it actually will be fine. I'll just figure out how to do my makeup well. And I think I, do you know when you like are a bit delusional and you think you can handle it? I've got so bad at makeup. I used to be actually quite good at makeup back in my day. But now I feel like I've just lost all my talent because I'm not wearing it. Like literally in Sydney, I can't wear it. It's too warm. And I haven't been out anywhere in winter. To be fair but in summer like when i was going out i couldn't wear makeup so it was just sweating off my face straight away boom 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 but i still feel confident enough that i might be able to pull it off tomorrow i just need to get some new wee bits like i need to get a new bronzer i'd love to get a um like a good moisturizer for underneath makeup or i'll just use my cerave to be honest like let's be real we'll see the crack but anyway today i'm going in to meet a friend kira she was in one of my sydney vlogs she literally had visited Sydney with her family like three weeks ago or something so I'm gonna go and get some breakfast with her and then I have a doctor's appointment because girls I'm trying to book in for my cervical smear right because I'm due one I'm 25 now and I thought I'd get it when I'm at home because then I wouldn't have to pay for it and she was basically like the nurse is on annual leave and there's no clinics for like two weeks but I'm thinking to myself have you only got one nurse that does smears like I'm just so confused honestly like it is just such a weird setup here do you know what I mean why is there only one nurse or does it have to be like a special type of like smear nurse? But surely with the amount of people who are over 25 and getting smears done, there should be more than one nurse doing them, no? I don't know. Anyway, so she said that she's off a nine leave for two weeks and so I'm gonna be back in Australia by then, so probably we'll just have to book in and pay for one in Sydney. But yeah, I also booked in to see a doctor because I've been just getting really, really tired in the middle of the day the past couple of months to see what the crack is there, just in case it's iron or something silly that I just need to be like keeping on top of. I'd rather get sorted then let it like linger on but that's the plan today and then this is going to be the wedding vlog so you'll be able to see my makeup and all in this if i absolutely feel and die and like it's awful then you're going to see it in this video so do subscribe for that okay subscribe for subscribe if you have faith in me to do my makeup and subscribe if you think it's sad if i feel literally just subscribe it genuinely girls it's still like 45 percent of you that watch my videos every week like come back every single week aren't even subscribed why why do you not love me? Why do you not love me? <laughs> yeah, actually ignore me, I'm a little bit delusional and I'm feeling a bit better today. Oh my God, my period came nine days early. Are you fucking kidding me? Nine days early. Of course, of course. Like there's something about the being up high in the plane. It has to bring something on because it's happened to me before. Nine days right before a wedding. Cheers. Cheers, menstrual cycle, absolutely fantastic. I've got a massive big bruiser here, big under the skin spot, has to go ASAP. Um, I tried out a new tan, although I went a bit happy on like this section, like it's a little bit orange, but I'm hoping when I get my nails done today, it'll take away the bad look of it, I don't know. Like I am actually loving it. Uh, the hands definitely need to be washed a few times. I don't know what's happened with my hands. Like I did put moisturizer on, but maybe I just went over them a bit too much. I did do like, I sometimes get a wee bit mid happy, I don't know. Um, and I did like overdo the hand. They're nice, aren't they? I love it. It's called effing tan. Sorry girls, it's called effing tan. I've just done a TikTok on it. And yeah, I love, like it's actually so, so nice. So yeah, um, let's go into the town anyway. And I'm gonna edit my last YouTube video. I still have a YouTube video that's in Sydney that I haven't put up yet. I need to sort my life out with these YouTube videos. Like I need to get some structure in my life it says me literally travel 24 hours like i need to wise up and like it's fine now everybody on youtube is going to be behind again like i keep letting my youtube fam fall behind in my life but if you want to be up to date in my life you know where to go you know everything that's quicker smaller content youtube's just more of a long form this is the crack you just know me better than anybody on here do you know what i mean you are me and you we have a special relationship i think we're lovers literally cares when we waiting for me why did i do that do i have adhd like no actually do i have ADHD? and recently i've been really questioning it 
I might even say that to the doctor today as well. He might be able to give me some guidance on what I need to do because I literally, do I have it? Like literally when I was going down the symptoms, I was like, Yeah, oh, yeah, okay, guilty, you know. Like, why am I talking about this again? Girls, I, maybe I should, I need to go. Let's go into the town, get some breakfast, see Kira, Smira, Bira, and have a nice day. Have a nice day, but welcome back. Whoa. <coughs> <coughs> Whoa. Girls, spooky season is underway. Look at this pumpkin. <laughs> Here's here. Look how gorgeous she is in her pink. Look. Hi guys. I'm back. <laughs> Hi guys. Why well, you were literally just here a second. I was literally just there, yeah. Oh, stunning. I'm a bit worried about the soup. It's very dark. Girls, I haven't spoke to you in a wee second. Listen, cough medicine. Absolutely necessary right now. I am literally dying. Hold on. Do you ever be humbled by the child locks on things? Like, it actually humbles me every time. Oh no, oh no, no, no. The smell of that, honestly, that actually smells reeking. 15 mil. Oh my God. Oh, no. Girls, that is pure lumpy bump. Just got the nails done, love. Hold on. I'll show you them properly later on, but I'm gonna take a shot. Look at the cut of that. That is disgusting. I can't remember the last time I had cough meds. One, two, three. Got the nails done. I was coughing the whole way through it and that's what actually panicked me a wee bit because I thought I was getting a wee bit better but the cough is not going and I have a reading tomorrow. So I cannot be coughing around the joint, do you know what I mean? So I didn't tell you, I got my hair sorted but I have nobody for makeup that like I couldn't get a perfect time so I'm just gonna do it myself I got a few things there I got the Cicaplast balm to put under my makeup to try and like moisturize my skin pretty well and then a beauty blender because I'm all out of mine a bronzer from Rimmel a lip liner and a, from Rimmel and I got a lipstick from Rimmel as well but I'm bloody wrecked now honestly it's hard being a girl, it's hard getting your nails done like. The hands are still extremely orange, but I'd say after a couple more washes, they'll be totally fine by tomorrow. I got my parcel delivered from ASOS as well. I haven't been home yet to see if it fits or if anything fits. I ordered a few dresses for day two. So hopefully one of them is fine because I need something for day two and I've got nothing at the minute. Um, heading home now, I'll show you what I got from ASOS and I've actually got a pair of shoes as well that I'm wearing to the wedding, hopefully. What day? Bloody day, girls. Uh, nails are done, and I actually am obsessed. I feel kind of put together now, but I need to go and eat, and then I'm going home, and I'll show you everything I got in sauce, etc., etc. I need to wear my retainer tonight because the teeth are not teeth and right. Do you know what I mean? Right, bye. Hey, girls, we're back in the house. Have my big sauce order. By the way, Klarna, best thing ever. This is my dress for the wedding. I got it in Forever New in Australia. It's like blue with like dark bottom on it. Listen, it's okay, it'll do. I'm not dying with the dress. It's fine though. It'll just do. Also, I'm out of breath and have a sore throat and sore nose. And how am I supposed to do a reading tomorrow, honestly? This is my ASOS order. These are all for day two, by the way. Let me turn on my light. I'm fully out of breath. How am I supposed to do a reading, girls? I'm actually mortified. Right, this is the dress there. Just black, plain. Don't think I actually like that, but anyway. Next thing, got a lot of cheetah print. Cheetah print is really coming back, isn't it? I was always a fan of cheetah. Oh no, hate that. I don't like that cheetah print, it's too wide. I also picked up a cheetah print dress in John Stores today as well, just in case these are all shite. Oh, this is the puffy one. I really like this online. Oh, so it's like puff sleeve and then the bottom is also that like puffed material. Hopefully that's nice because that looks really comfy. I got these for my hair in the morning, like little pearls. They're always meant to send me one, but those are the earrings. They have like little pearl drops on them. I don't know why they sent me two. I only ordered one. Oh yeah, and a little necklace. It's like a little choker. I don't know about that. Then I got cluster lashes, because I thought these would be better. Yeah, they're individuals. That's grand. Next, this dress here. This was just a last minute purchase. I'm not actually wearing this this weekend. 
I don't know why I picked this up. I think I just got a bit excited. Dress with the nice summer dress. If it's stunning, I'll keep it. If it's not, I'll just send it back. This is why I love Clarna because you don't pay for anything until you're 100% happy with it. This is a maxi dress as well. Cheetah print. Um, it's like, oh my god, that's, I'm sorry, that's massive. Never. Maybe it will fit in the end up. Oh, this blouse, it looked lovely. I hope it's not too short because I hate how everything is fucking cropped. Everything I got was puff sleeve. Can you tell I like puff sleeve? That might be okay though. <clears throat> I got two pairs of shoes. I don't know why they came in different packaging. This is the same pair of shoes, just different size. I ordered two sizes. Right, I'm gonna try all this on and I'll let you see the verdict. I'm not gonna try it on camera because I just don't have the mental power for that, girls. Hope you understand. This is the dress, this is the vibe. I've just freaked my hair up. I don't even know if I'm wearing that pearl thing yet. I just feel like a big granny in it. I don't know what it is. Like, it just feels very granny, like, but then is it kind of giving glamour? This is the dress, anyway, that I'm wearing tomorrow. It's the only option and it's happening, so. Yay. Okay, we're having a bit of an actual nightmare. None of these fit my boobs. Like, why is that doing that to my boobs? Okay, so this is the one I have to go for because it's the only one that fits properly. Nobody talks about having to just go with the shitty option because that's the only one that fucking fits you. It's literally the worst feeling ever because there's a dress here that I absolutely love, right? And it's too late now to order another size. I really love that puff dress. I'm gonna put it on, show you it. It just doesn't fit. Right, this is the puff one that I'm literally obsessed with, but it's just too tight on my boobs. Like, I'm not wearing a bra here, pressing my boobs in. I don't think I'll be able to, like, I wouldn't be able to wear it. But look, I love this dress, but I just, the boob situation, it's not gonna work. Like, unless I tape my boobs down, which I don't even know how to do. Girls, I'm in a rush. I have to leave for my hair. And like, honestly, now, to be honest. I don't know why I agreed to do my own makeup. Probably just have to talk to you in the car on the way to Kildare. Please pray to God that this actually turns out okay because this is not okay so far. What a weekend I just had. <clears throat> the light is a bit off here. The sun is shining today, folks. That's better, girls. Oh, yeah, good job, Nave. What a weekend. I'm just back from watching one of my best friends get married. Woo, it was in the K Club. It was stunning. Honestly, what a weekend. Literally, see if you're at the point in life where your best friends are getting married. It is the best point in life. Like, it is so nice to watch your friends fall in love and marry and have babies and things like that. And yeah, it was just such a wholesome, gorgeous weekend filled with love. Honestly, I just, I love it. I love, 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 love. But anyway, there was severe drink taken. The voice is away. I've been singing all weekend. I've done my reading at the chapel. Girls, I've never been so nervous in my whole life. Like, I haven't done anything like that in a long time. And it was a long reading. It was like the communion reflection. It was probably like two minutes long. And like a reading for two minutes long is pretty intense, isn't it? Like, um, it could have been three minutes long. It felt like bloody, it felt like an hour and a half, if I'm being honest. Thankfully, the reading itself was actually so beautiful. And it was such a beautiful message. So I'm happy that I got to read that out and say it for Shannon and Daki. Um and yeah it was just a gorgeous weekend and I'm proud of myself for doing the reading and I'm proud of my best friend for walking that aisle and doing her thing and looking like an absolute superstar honestly 
She was the biggest, beautifulest princess I've ever seen in my life. They were more than generous with everything. They were, it was, it was a crazy wedding. I've never been to a wedding with such expense in my life. But that's how they like to do it. They're extravagant people. They love the vibes. They love the gorgeousness. They love the K Club. And I was loving the K Club. All right, I might not have fit in, but I was loving the K Club and the K Club was loving me. All right, but yeah, that's the crack with the wedding. Unreal, 10 out of 10 vibes. Now we are back into regular programming. We came back from the K Club yesterday. It's in Kildare. It was like a three hour drive. Terrible. Um, Arse was sore, but that's fine. Worth it. Now I'm going to meet Shannon, who I haven't seen in ages. She left Australia, honestly. It must be like, I can't remember when she left, but it was, yeah, I haven't seen her in like well over seven months, I think. I'm not sure. I'm not 100%, but I think that. Um, so I'm going to see her now. I don't know what we're actually doing. We're going to get food. That's all I know. Do I sound a wee bit sexy or something? Smelly cat, smelly cat. What are they feeding you? I may have ended up singing a song at the after party of the wedding as well. Dwell. Can't watch the videos back. What am I not like? Who let me out of the house, girls? Lock me up. Throw away the key. Do you know what I mean? I thought I'd pick up the camera because I've been awful with the vlogging and at the wedding all the videos I took were like upright. I never took any YouTube style videos. I'm sorry girls. I really didn't keep you like to be honest listen I wasn't even on my phone. I wanted to just really soak it in and enjoy the girls wedding you know and I definitely did that so I'm happy I did that but in doing that I kind of just forgot about YouTube. I'm so sorry I, I did I forgot about you. And I don't mean to because you are my favourite platform and I really, really love you. And I don't mean to forget about you, but it's just, I didn't have my camera with me and I was just enjoying the time. Do you know what I mean? But I've got like some upright photos and our videos and I've probably put them in already. So you've seen the vibes and the vibes were immaculate. Do you know what I mean? You've seen the vibes. So you got the vibes of the wedding. We're now into the normal life again and I'm going to meet Shannon. That's literally what I've just said in a synopsis again. I don't know why I do that. I keep like giving you is like a here's what's coming like just watch do you know what I mean just, they're gonna watch the video so you know you know oh, Jesus there's Shannon with her video up she's <laughs> that girl I'm sorry see Shannon Mitchell she is like a workhorse and I'm not taking the piss she'll record a video edit a video it'll take her no time she's just boom 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 work machine work machine with her content I swear never seen anything like it she's just clockwork with her content not like me, girls. She doesn't forget about her followers. I forget about mine. I'm sorry. I love yous. I love yous just as much. I'm just, I'm just not a workhorse. And I think I might have ADHD, but I've talked about that. Oh my God. I haven't talked to you since I went to the doctor the other day. Well, I'll tell you now later. I, I'll say later and then never say. Basically, I went to the doctor. The doctor was an asshole. My doctor was such an arrogant man. He just was not interested. Yeah, nightmare, honestly. Oh, my mom's leaving now. I'm going to have to go. My mum's about to come up with the lane. Right, love you so much. Um, I'll take you with me today. And please forgive me for being um, a bit lacking in all departments when it comes to YouTube. But yeah, um, I've got so many spots at the minute I'm breaking out because of the drink and the alcohol. You girls, but to be honest, it was good quality alcohol because I didn't have a, a one hangover. And I mean, I didn't stop drinking. And I'm not telling you you shouldn't, you should not drink, right? But I'm just saying. That's the vibe. But I need to go because mommy's about to beat the horn at me and tell me to get the fuck out of the road. So I love you all. I'll see you soon. Bye. She calls me a culture. It's My borderline bullying. <laughs> but anyway, I could say I'm a culture because I can reverse into a parking spot. They can park better than people from Belfast. Are you serious? Yes. And this is how your spawners I noticed that. I'm sure we've seen it earlier. There was a woman who couldn't park a car park earlier. And Nate went straight into the spot. No. That's just good driving, Tom. That's just my expertise in the driving thing. Yeah, yeah. 
first and I'm Here we are, guys. Here we are, taste, taste test. So, I'll start with will do chicken gravy just for the taste test, or will do it? I hate do a bite without anything. Oh, hot honey looks gorgeous. Okay, I'll do a bite without anything. Okay. Mm. The wind's going to Paris for the fella. <laughs> Birds. It's so nice to actually have a garden again. What a wholesome day that was, honestly. Just so wholesome. Like, I love my bracelet. I had such a fun time. It was just a real nice, wholesome catch up. That's the thing. Like, see, when you haven't seen friends in a long time, right? And you don't necessarily, like, keep up with each other as much. It's so nice to meet up with them friends when you're back because you have so much to talk about and there's so much, there's so much has happened that it's just, when you do finally meet up, it's like never ending conversation. But, and it was such a nice day and it was so nice of Shannon to get me this, like this wee bracelet, I think it's so cute. Um, she had no need to do that, but like she did and she's, it was so kind. And then we went to get Popeyes and it was actually delicious. I didn't really film a lot for it. I'd done a bit of a TikTok. But yeah, it was tasty, it was good fried chicken. Like, what can I say, it was good. Like, i definitely go back, but apparently on weekends and stuff, it's really, really busy. So I wouldn't be queuing for it. Like, that's the crack and that's the day over, really. Clean is coming over now and we're gonna have like a Great British Bake Off party. <laughs> Not really a party, but like plenty of tea and biscuits and sweet treats. And that's what's happening tonight. So she's coming over soon. I think she's coming over for half six. That's when it starts. Oh, hold on. Mummy bought a tennis racket and I'm loving it against that big wall. It has been so fab. I have been boom, 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 boom. Every chance I get. I've always said like, I want to play a bit of tennis, but I don't want to play if someone's not going to pass the ball directly to me. Cause I don't want to be running. Like I don't want to do like the whole tennis thing. I just want to pass the ball backwards and forwards. Let's go and boil the kettle because she's going to be here soon, I would say. I didn't eat since the chicken at like three o'clock and I'm actually getting a wee bit hungry now. I'm a little bit sad that I didn't buy anything at the shop. Clean is here. It's a party now. Morning. Oh, I am tired and I have not stopped going since being home. I'm tired, but I'm gonna go and see Amy now, my cousin. We're gonna just go and grab some lunch and a coffee. Um, the amount I've ate out is actually insane. I haven't cooked one meal. Mum made toasties one night, that was it. Everything else has been eating out. We were taking, up, taking me out for dinner. Like, it's just been, it's just been hectic. But anyway, it is what it is. We've actually only got one week left tomorrow. So I'm trying to soak it all in and enjoy myself. And I am enjoying myself like I'm having such a ball. Let's go. Amy's here. It's for YouTube. Um, this is smart for cups because then it doesn't ever look dirty. Taste this. It's divine. Mm. So bad for Ireland. Girls, I could leave them with. <laughs> look at that. Doesn't matter for an Australia or home, we'll just still be making time for a coffee. Literally, she got sausage roll, I have a wee baked potato. These are meant to be very nice. Keep this forever. <laughs> I love it. I'm gonna have one. I've decided. <laughs> 34 weeks today. <laughs> <laughs> you always I feel not my <laughs> so tired right now me and Naomi went out last night for dinner and had two bottles of wine and now I'm just so like my eyes are like puffed 
but I've no hangover. I'm sweet. Like it was actually a really nice evening. Hard to beat a wee wine and dinner evening, isn't it? Like that is peak. That is peak. Anyway, I'm up bright and early this morning because I'm meeting Celine, another friend. I swear, girls, see coming home after being in Australia for 15 months, especially when you're only home for a certain period of time. Like I'm only home for three weeks. Two weeks are now done, and I have like. I only have like five or six days left and trying to see everybody is no joke. It is hard work. Wouldn't have it any other way. We're meeting up for a coffee. We're going to Just Wee Bakery, which was opened by Laura Duffin. She opened like, she has Just a Wee Baker treats and stuff. She's opened a new cafe since I've been away in Cookstown. So fair play to her. I want to see it. It looks class. Would it be really weird to have a Carmel Square at eight o'clock? <laughs> Hey there lovely ladies, how you doing? What is the crack girls? We're going now for dinner again, I swear. I keep forgetting to pick up the camera when I'm doing other things. Every time I pick up the camera it's just when I'm going to eat because I'm like, I have a bit of time before I eat to tell you that I'm going to eat. I'm going to a carvery with my granny and my wee mama. Does not. Are you telling fibs? You're telling me fibs? That's the crack, Brian. Yes. How are you? This is coming up to ladders. As if it's our last few days in Ireland. <laughs> we'll be okay, girls. I'm excited to get back to Sydney. Let me just leave that there. I am excited. But I am sad to say goodbye to everybody again and have to see everybody over the next few days. I've got three days left. Is it? I'm going today to get my smear. I turned 25 last November. And obviously I've been away and stuff and I haven't got my routine smear yet. I have got a smear in the past just because I had like an infection years ago, like five years ago. And I got a smear then. Reminder as well, if you haven't booked your smear yet and you're 25 and you haven't got your routine one yet, book it. Okay. Do you know the amount of people who are passing away because they had unknown infections, cancer, tumours down there? Like you have to just be safe with this. Okay, because it happens to a lot of women. Literally a five minute uncomfortable smear can save your life, then is there even a question? This is the outfit today. I already spilled elephant drops on my skirt and it looks like a shit mark. Can you see? Before my smear, I'm going to see Carrie again and all the babies and say goodbye to them. <laughs> yeah, let's go. It's actually a stunning day today. What do you see my view? Like, look how stunning that is. How could you be bad to that, girls? Anyway, let's go to Carrie's first, then Smear, then Rachel's, then Cleanus. <laughs> That's today. Oh. Ireland is sending me off well. Love her. We you see these robins that I got my mummy as well. I was in the garden centre, she loves robins. How cute are they? I'm so sad as well that I have to give this car back. I love this car. I've grown a little bit attached. Anyway, talk to you soon. Talk to you soon when I carries. Time for my 
may we smear. Here we go. Here my um, skirt's a good idea because you just pull it up. Morning girls. Second last day before I leave for Australia now. And I'm cleaning up the car because I have to leave it back today before one o'clock. It's currently like nearly 11. So we need to get going. But it needs to be Hoover because she's a wee bit stinky. Do you know what I mean? I've been in her the past three weeks. She's all right. Like it's just a wee bit of dirt and stuff like that. But we'll get her sorted now, girls. Bye, bye. Car's all back, everything was grand and I'm getting my deposit back. So, happy days. Went into the town here to meet mommy. He's going to meet me in Avoca for some lunch. So that's the vibes. But it's such a nice day. Here we are, all of the lads. Mm. Last day in Ireland. Out the gap in a few hours. Going to see my daddy for a coffee and lunch first. I'm packing, it's such a nightmare. Packing is just the bane of my life. If anybody needs a driving instructor, give us a call. Mid Ulster. Kirkstown, all that crack. I'm just giving your business a plug. Hey! <laughs> what is that? I never tasted cake and I'm not a cake lover. What's there? What's where are you going? Seven, Seven and a half or something. So it was during the night, Abu Dhabi time. Have you much left to do? Mm. That's the trip all over. Bye, Ireland. How do you feel? Yeah. So guys, that's it all over. Three weeks done. We're in the airport now. We're going to Abu Dhabi. We're spending 11 hours in Abu Dhabi. And then we're going on to Australia tomorrow night. Great trip. Lovely to see everybody, but happy to be going back, you know. Anyway, thanks for watching. Love you all. I'll see you in the next one. And the next one will be, I don't think I'm going to do an Abu Dhabi vlog on here. I might do it on TikTok, so follow me over there. But yeah, don't forget to subscribe girls and love you and I'll see you in the next one.